Entitlement reaches all walks of life, as you'll find out in this episode of Entitled People. Our first one is from Call Me Destinova 42. Since my high school days, I've been correcting some of my friends' papers. Mostly only check the grammar, but I also do some minor adjustments. For instance, I had one friend who didn't understand the concept of paragraphs until college, every now and then. I'm not a professional by any means, but my work has been good enough that my friends have recommended me to some of their peers. I graduated college in 2019. I'm not a teacher or a student, and I don't charge anyone anything. Whenever I agree to do this, it's purely for fun. However, I have been doing it less and less lately, as I now have an actual job, a husband, and a toddler. Also, almost all my friends have graduated. One of the exceptions is a close friend of mine who recently decided to get a second degree. His class had a pretty big paper to deliver last week, and he recommended my services to a classmate of his. I was put in contact with the classmate. I'll call him Derek. An 18-year-old who, based on our interactions through the phone, seemed like a chill person. In retrospect, I'm pretty sure he was just high. The paper was due last Monday, at 7 hours 30, right before the start of their class, and he promised me he'd send it for me to grammar check at least 24 hours before. On Monday at 1am, Derek finally sent me the paper. As promised, I swallowed my frustration and got to work. The paper was three pages long. As I read it, I noticed that at least half of it was very obviously written by your friend and mine, ChatGPT. It was bad enough that I almost immediately realized the information was wrong. I think the AI confused two different people, which derailed much of what came next. Even though I only had a basic understanding of what the paper was about. But it was 1am and the grammar for that half was fine, so I didn't touch it. I only corrected the offensively atrocious grammar present everywhere else. I sent him the finished paper about an hour later. He didn't thank me. Derek got his grade back yesterday. His paper got a 2 out of 10, and his teacher apparently told him he was lucky to even get that. His response was to send me a text that said something along the lines of, What the fuck did you do? Weren't you supposed to correct it? I reminded Derek that I corrected grammatical errors, not information. He'd been informed of that several times, by both me and my friend, before I agreed to help. He rudely continued to text me that I should have corrected the rest of it anyway, since I could tell the information was inaccurate. So Derek, who relied on AI to write half of a very important paper, is blaming me for the fact that his teacher saw right through it. And judging by some of his texts, I think he expected me to rewrite part of his paper. The fucking nerve on this guy. I get it, I was a student once and I don't miss it, but I'd never treat anyone like this, especially someone who had just done me a favor. I am seriously considering not doing grammar checks anymore. How do you, like, try to help somebody and then have them blame you when they literally just didn't want to do the work? Because I feel like if you're having AI do the work, you're not really doing the work. The least this guy could have done was go back, review things, but it just seemed like he did not want to do a thing. You can't really blame anybody for anything when you're doing absolutely nothing. This next one is by DannyBow87. Had a pretty decent summer job in high school university. All the next year's school books and stationery would come in via pallets. The summer workforce would shelve them, sort them into individual orders, and send them out to satellite offices and schools. You could also pick up your order from the front office if that was easier, and this was a pretty chill job. Except for the week before the first term started, when it became increasingly busy for every last minute parent trying to pick up orders at the same time. Generally, if you went into the public-facing area, you'd try and blend in to avoid impatient people waiting in line. I made the mistake of wearing the fluoro vest with the company logo while restocking shelves out in front, so couldn't have stood out more when I heard the dreaded entitled person snarl of Excuse me? Me, all of 18, politely turned and tried to put on a face of curious helpfulness. 
I left a baby at home alone with a toddler. That's probably not a good idea. Well, I didn't expect to be kept waiting so long. Still, I'd go home right away and make sure they're okay. Well, go get my order now. Oh, sorry, but I'm a warehouse worker. All the orders are at the front of the line, where there is a whole team of people grabbing them as quickly as possible. I want you to tell your manager what's going on now. Right away. Leaving the shouty person was my genuine pleasure, and as instructed, went right to my manager. There's an angry customer who left a baby at home alone with a toddler? That's probably not a good idea. Yeah, that's what I said. What do you want me to do? Get back to work and try not to go out there again. So let me get this straight. This entitled parent believes because they're an irresponsible parent by leaving a baby and a toddler at home alone while they go get supplies, uh, they should get serviced first. Th that's literally, I feel like, the surefire way to get the police called on you for neglect. And our final one is from Traveler Vale. I was told that this story belonged in this subreddit. This happened a few years ago, so details might be a bit hazy. I was returning home from a trip that I cut short due to a family health emergency. The flight was pleasant, but I was in a bad place mentally. I did what I usually do in situations like that and kept to myself, saying few words. I plugged in my headphones and started to listen to some podcast during the two-hour flight. Over the sound of the podcast, I heard someone speaking loudly in a pretentious nasal voice talking. I pulled out my earbuds and heard a guy arguing with a flight attendant about how he had asked for something several times but didn't get it. I didn't really care and tried to ignore him, but he kept going, asking the flight attendant for her name, telling her that the airline company must hear about it. I don't remember what he wanted, but it was some kind of drink they didn't have available for some reason. I returned to my podcast and raised the volume. Ten minutes later, by the podcast timer, he was still ranting about his annoyingly pretentious way about professionalism, respect, and giving customers what they want. I switched to some rock music to drown him out, and saw the captain coming over to talk to him. He was flailing his arms around like spaghetti. My worry about my hospitalized grandmother gave way to anger, and I started fantasizing about all the different ways I would shut him up. The captain walked away with a frustrated look on his face, and the flight attendant started serving the other passengers and ignoring his attempts to stir up trouble. I think they got him some alternative drink, which he never touched. We landed, and I put my earbuds away to get ready to leave. He was first in line by the airplane door, and I was right behind him. The door opened, and an airport security guard was standing there to escort him through the tube. I followed, and by the end of the tube, a higher ranking guard was waiting for him. He stood blocking the way out, and I saw the other passengers behind me were fed up with this guy who never shut up for more than half of the flight time. He was arguing about how terrible the crew and service was, and how he'd never had service this bad. He kept saying he needs to leave now because his family was waiting for him, or some similar non-reason reason. My anger was starting to boil. Should I shove him? Bang my pulling bag onto his leg? Punch him in the back? Would everybody clap? I had to head straight to the hospital, and everyone behind me had places to go. I've heard many stories about people like him online, across many different channels. Nobody would feel bad for them. But this wasn't only about them. It was also about who I am and what kind of person I want to be. I took a couple of deep breaths to calm down as he was telling the guards how to do their jobs, and with the most aggressive tone I could come up with, despite my stress and exhaustion, spoke up, Get the fuck out of my way! That F-bomb was enough to stun him since everyone else was following a code of conduct required by their jobs, and for the first time since I noticed him, he had nothing to say. The guards took advantage of his silence and started to move him away hopefully to some back office where he will be delayed a few hours. I left the airport and headed home for a quick shower and a change of clothes before going to the hospital. My thoughts kept going back to that entitled guy and how he thought he could be a pretentious and rude guy with people whose jobs require them to be polite. 
Politeness never works with them, and sometimes meeting someone who thinks they're scum is the wake-up call they deserve. Edit, my grandmother just passed away peacefully earlier today. She started to go out with the 2024 solar eclipse and didn't suffer for too long. I will cherish every moment I spent with her. It's always sad losing a family member, but I'm glad to know that their grandmother passed peacefully and didn't suffer. That jackass on the plane though, I really hope that his sit in that office was not peaceful and that he suffered and squirmed for however long they kept him in that room. Alright, that's enough entitlement for the day. Well that wraps up this episode of Entitled People. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons and super thanks contributors. Have a great day and stay safe out there.